Hi there fellow guitarists, Josh Rogers here, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Lilium from the Japanese anime Elfin Lead. The song itself is really beautiful, I hadn't come across it until one of the subscribers, one of you out there, asked if I could learn this track and I have done so. I managed to track down some fairly simple tabs, I went back through and listened and I've created some tabs with the sheet music, full fingerings, left and right hand and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is click on the link in the description that's that's down here below so you click on show more when you see that a whole full description will come up there'll be a link there click on it just follow the instructions and you can get all of the matching sheet music and tabs for this. Don't forget if you like the video please destroy that like button and also subscribe to the channel it'll keep you up to date with everything I do. This channel is all about reaching out to you that maybe don't have a teacher in your area or you're dying to learn a song but you can't read music properly or perhaps you can't even read tab correctly you can watch this and learn everything it's nice and if you can read tab or you can read sheet music you can download that and that will enhance the whole learning experience for you let's play this it starts off at the 7th fret on the B string followed by the ninth fret on the 1st string then you're going to go to like a half bar chord so we're barring at the 6th fret there. You can choose how many strings you want to bar. You actually only need to bar 2, which is the 4th string and the 3rd string. So we have, after this, those first two notes, 8th fret on the A string and 9th fret on the B string together, followed by 6, 6 on the D and G string. Then you're going to go ahead to the 10th fret on the B string. Then you put that bar down again, so it's kind of like you're shifting the bar along one fret, like this. So there we've got the 10th fret on its own on the B string, then we have 10th fret on the B string and 9th fret on the A string together, like this. Then we're doing 7th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the B string and 9th fret on the 1st string. It's actually that the first two notes done again like that but it doesn't look the same because when you start you're doing it like that but after this you're actually using that bar and your fourth finger here. Let's start that from the beginning. Ninth fret on the A string and 7th fret on the 1st string together then back to that 10th fret on the B string. The second part is like this. Alright, let's try that from the beginning. Then we go into a half bar at the 2nd fret. It's actually a D chord, which you may be familiar with. If not, don't worry. A bar across three strings at the second fret, and your second finger is going on to the third fret of the B string. Then we have open D and second fret on the first string together. Then second fret on the G string, third fret on the B string, and back to that G string. Then we're going to move that along. Is coming along to the 4th fret. We have the open D and 4th fret on the G string together, followed by 4th fret on the 1st string, 5th fret on the B string, 7th fret on the G string. You can see I've basically moved that chord shape along two frets like this. Now we're going to extend this bar across five strings. I've also left this finger on as a pivot finger from here, like this. 4th fret on the A string and the 5th fret on the B string together. Then 6, 6, 6. From D to G, back to D. Alright, let's try that from the D chord. Then we're to an 
F sharp 7 chord. It's a full bar at the 2nd fret and 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the G string. Play 6, 4 and 3 strings together like that. Leave the bar. That's 2nd fret on the 1st string, then 3, 2 on the B string. From the D chord. Stay in this area, you have that, 3rd fret B string, 2nd fret A string together, followed by open 2 on the 1st string. So from here, then we're moving up in the bass, 2, 3 on the A string. Then we're going to reach out, keep holding this bass note and do 4, 5, 7 on the first string. And from here. Right there, I've moved back to this fourth position and I'm barring five strings. I've just done this. Fourth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the first string together, sixth fret on the G string, seventh fret on the B string, and back to that fifth fret on the first string, like this. Then this finger stays where it was, and this finger is going to move to the sixth fret on the B string, and you're going to play G, B, and E strings together. We'll take it from the D. to the beginning. So this is a repeat. Instead of going here, we're going to come up to the 7th fret. So from here. sounds a little bit complicated because what's happening is something called contrary motion which means either the bass line is going up or down and the melody is going in the opposite direction. If the bass is going up the melody is descending. If the bass is descending then the melody is ascending. That's why they call it contrary motion. It's a compositional term. We're at the 7th fret barring and we play the 6th string and 3rd string together then to the 7th fret on the 1st string put down these two fingers, that's 8th fret on the E string and 10th fret on the B string together, followed by 9th fret on the B string. Then come to the 9th fret on the 6th string and play that and the 7th fret on the B string together, followed by 10th fret on the G string. that bass there, play it again with the 8th fret on the G string, then back to the 10th fret on the G string, like this. From here, then we go in the 2nd fret, full bar, and play the 6th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings together, like that, after this. Then we're going into the, like, the second part of the song, we have that nice ascending melody there. So we have 6, 7, 9 on the 1st string, 4, 6, 8, in the bass. So you play those together. On the right hand I'd like to do a bit of a rest stroke there. Rest stroke means my 
one finger comes to rest on the string above and that gives it a nice sort of forceful tone lets the listener know that you're taking the song somewhere new okay let's move into the second part we have a series of kind of arpeggios It's quite a difficult section, so you just got to try to take it slowly. It starts with a half bar at the 7th fret, and we've got the 10th fret on the 1st string and 9th fret on the D string together. Play them together and then 7-7 seven, seven from G to B. Then your finger's going to come up to the 10th fret on the B string, and you're going to roll backwards like that, from 10 to 7 to 9, from the B, G, D strings. Starting off, then there I've got the bar happening again on the 7th fret and I'm playing the 9th fret on the B string and the 7th fret on the A string together. And I'm going back that way from D to G, 9th fret, 7th fret. So from the beginning of that, then we're doing away with the bar. That's 10th fret on the 1st string, and then 9-9 nine, nine on the B and G strings. Do we have this? Then we're moving to a half bar at the 9th fret. That's open A and the 9th fret on the 1st string together followed by 9-9, nine, nine, G to B. Then, 12th fret on the first string and do everything the same again, but no bass note. Okay, from the beginning of that. Then we're going to extend this bar across five strings, and we're doing like a minor shape. It looks just like a, an A minor down there. So that's a bar across five strings at the ninth fret, tenth fret on the B string, and eleven eleven on the G and D strings. And we're going to pick that's the A string and the B string together, followed by the D string and then the G string. Then we have so hold the shape, but shift to the first string and pick backwards this way. E to B to G. Don't change this chord. From the beginning. Then we move positions. First finger on the 6th fret of the D string. 8th fret on the 1st string. 7th fret on the B string. 8th fret on the G string. And you play the D and 1st strings together. Followed by the B string and then the G string. Then move this shape directly to the, let's call it the fifth fret because that's where these two fingers are. So they're on the fifth fret of the first string, fifth fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string. And same finger picking pattern. One, two, three. So from here. We take it from the beginning. half bar at the 4th fret, barring those two strings, E and B, at the 4th fret, and then 2nd finger, 5th fret on the G string. Same picking pattern, 1, 2, 3. From here. Then we're moving to the 7th chord here. 4th finger onto the 7th fret of the B string, 5th fret on the G string, 6th fret on the D string. Same finger picking pattern, two, three, four. From here. Then leave the bar on and 
shift these two fingers to here. So these two fingers, don't lift this one off, leave that where it is. Move these two around. This is going to the 5th fret on the 1st string and this is going to the 6th fret on the G string. And we're going to pick like this. So we have the 4th fret on the A string together with the 5th fret on the 1st string together. This time we're picking that direction. From the G to the B. And then twice this direction like this. Then 4th finger goes to the 7th fret on the 1st string, pick it alone, and then leave the bar, and your 4th finger, it's doing quite a lot of work actually, is going to the 6th fret on the B string, and then you play the G string, B string, and E strings together. But just take it from here. Then it starts again. Okay, so that last part is going back to here, but the first time we did this. This time we're doing. This time we're picking six, three, and two together, and then three and two alone. That part there, I'm doing a third fret on the B string and fourth fret on the G string together. We've got. Then fourth fret, fourth fret on the D and G strings together. Like this. Then leave your third finger on here, take these two fingers off and play six, four, three, two together. From here. Awesome. That's the first half done. In the second tutorial I'll be teaching you how to do the part that's an A major. That's a little Kind of transposition A major B major it has several different time signatures some very subtle modulations here and there and actually it's a beautiful piece I think the original is sung by a soprano a really really amazing song actually and it sits really nicely on the guitar I'm not the original arranger of this I actually there's another guy on YouTube that does this but I don't think there's a lesson for it so I've done the lesson for it and I've written out the music really nicely so for those of you that can read music or read tab don't forget to click on that link in the description and you'll have a really nice copy of all the uh, fingerings and how the notation looks in the tabs just running along underneath thanks to the subscriber that suggested that I should learn the song it's been really nice to add this into my repertoire enjoy yourself it is a little bit tricky in spots but you can do it keep yourself relaxed thanks for being here today I hope you're getting a lot of value out of the lesson and out of the other lessons that I have on my channel. There's so many videos on the channel and I'm sure that you'll be able to find something that you like and want to learn to play. Thanks again and let your fingers fly.